hoping to find a northwest passage to China, Jacques Cartier named them Sulishi, the Chinese rapids. The first canal around these rapids was completed in 1824. It was the first effort to open up an inland navigation route. It was the beginning of the St. Lawrence Seaway. The final effort began in 1954. The objective was to make the channel big enough to accommodate the large ocean-going ships, which in turn would open up the Great Lakes to international trade and commerce. After years of negotiation between Canada and the United States, work began. St. Lambert, Côte St. Catherine, Lower and Upper Bohornoi, Snell, Eisenhower, Iroquois. Seven locks. Five would be built by Canada, two by the United States. Working summer and winter, working day and night, it took five years. Five years of removing mountains of dirt and rock. Five years of pouring mountains of concrete. Five years of blasting and dredging. Channels were deepened, bridges modified, rapids disappeared under man-made lakes. Islands were removed, restructured, or rebuilt. Thirty-eight thousand acres of land were flooded. More than six thousand people and several communities had to be relocated. Control dams, power plants, and hydroelectric dams were also a part of this mammoth project. 